So Indeed. what's your immediate plan as far as, I take it you're going to U18s? Yes. Yeah, and then like when you come back, I mean, will you meet with certain players or just kind of uh, outline what, what's ahead for you? Well, uh, I will, you know, for the players that are in town, like a lot, some of the kids are going to be at the World Championships and whatnot. I want to go to the U18s. I get a chance to spend some time with the amateur scouting staff over there. I have a chance to come back and meet with Jeff Blaschel. Um, uh, I'll meet with as many people as I can as soon as I can uh, to touch base. Whenever there's changes made, there's uncertainty, and it's important to reach out. So, you know, again, we've got the, the U18s, we've got a little bit more amateur scouting to do, um, pro meetings leading up to the to uh, uh, free agency, but the draft is a number one priority. Or you know, it will be spending some time uh, with with everyone I can in the organization. As much as it's been coming, what was it like emotionally <laughs> just to walk in here and, and with Mrs. Illich and Ken Holland? Yeah, it's been an interesting morning actually. Uh, you know, leading up to to coming here this afternoon, kind of start to you know it starts to the, the reality is kind of coming in. And it's like I got to be on my game here, you know. Um, uh, I'm excited to be back. You know, I've kind of come back. Truthfully, when I've been in Detroit for the last night, nobody really knows who I am or recognizes me, and that's in Detroit. That's been nice. Yeah, There's kind of a mural of you um, uh, when you walk yeah, into the CA. But, but it's it's different now. Now you're coming back as the general manager of the Red Wings. You know, like you know the people that didn't recognize me we might watch the news tonight and see, oh, that guy, that, that you're him. You know, so there's a little bit more attention now. Um, uh, but I have a lot of work to do, and uh, coming in today again, you realize, okay, it's officially happening. And I'm, I'm, one, I'm excited to be back in the organization. You know, you walk the halls, you see the people that, uh, you know, including a lot of the media that have been here throughout my career, a lot of people that, I, that I've worked with and played with, um, and I'm excited to be back. I'm also, to be honest with you, I'm nervous. I got a lot of work to do, and I got to do a good job. Once in, once in March, that it became clear that after you found out the wings had asked permission to talk to you, did you start paying attention? more to especially the core like kind of get a more feel for who you were taking over as far as players and such uh, maybe a little bit but Elaine I honestly like like we do this kind of what we do all year every year like we we watch the other we know the other teams we know the players in the system down this through the last few weeks of the season um, you know after talking with the Red Wings it's like you know what I keep an eye on them watch you know watch their games um, didn't really change any of my opinions on players. I haven't seen the team in Grand Rapids play. I'll get the, you know, I get to see them here. Uh, whether it's just probably just watching their games on the internet a little bit. I'm going to be busy. Hopefully they have a good playoff run. Then I get back and get out and see them. But uh, I said, for the most part, it really like just through. That's what we do, you know, in, uh, with our in our scouting meetings. We know the other organizations as best we can, and one thing I don't know them personally. I don't know these players. You know, I get to spend time with Kenny and Jeff and and the staff to to find out really what makes them tick and get to know their personalities more. Steve, would you like to name, would you like to name a new captain before next season? Pardon me. I said, would you like to name a new captain before next season? Uh, you know what? It's uh, honestly, uh, you like. I would I would certainly like discuss that with Jeff Blaschel. Um, I can't say that's my decision. I would tend towards let the let the coach make that decision, but I'd certainly like to talk to him about it. I think whoever that is, whenever that is, you make sure that the um, the player it's one, it's the right player, and two, he's he's at the right stage of his career for that role. Um, so um, that that can come in time. You know, to me, more so than wearing the C on your jersey, it's really how you conduct yourself, how you play. Your attitude, you know, whatnot, is more so really who determines the lead, or what determines the leader of the team, more so than just having the seat.